Hi team, my name is Gurdeep Kaur and here are, uh, we are going to start our group presentation of independent applied research in management. We have chosen our topic, which is case study of 3MGT, problems at Boeing Aerospace. We selected this topic for our research because we found this topic has very vast material for our research. The research will investigate the core issues of the company to recommend different solutions. Next slide represent the introduction of our group members names with IDs. Myself, Gurdeep Kaur, Vipul Vikaria, uh, and Gurte Singh, Maninderjeet Singh, Kushal Kumar. I'm going to perform the introduction part of our group presentation. Second part consists uh, content context and data will be performed by Vikaria Bipul Dhirubai. Gurtej will continue this part and also analysis the data. Maninderjit will continue data analysis. Kushal will wrap up our presentation with data analysis method, tool, and justification, and also draw conclusion recommendation and references. Next, moving on the introduction of our topic. Boeing is a global aerospace company whose headquarters is based in America. The company has earned a tremendous reputation worldwide for designing, manufacturing, and selling aeroplanes, rockets, rotorcrafts, telecommunication equipments, missiles, and satellites. The company is highly regarded for its contribution to the aerospace system, like the invention of Boeing 737 MAX and more as these were heavily inventive with the modern manufacturing technology, as well as sustainable and affordable aviation fuels. Unfortunately, the company had to face two major crashes of 737 MAX, which ruined the company glorious reputations. These issues made some impactful challenges for the company, leading to economical fall, production delays, and more. The company was unable to compete with its rivals too. The targeted audience for this presentation is the senior management, stakeholders, and decision makers within Boeing and other similar organizations, including executives, operational managers, and board members, as well as industry analysts and aviation regulatory authorities concerned with corporate governance, safety and strategic planning in the aerospace sector. Moving on the next slide, we have also considered some aims and expected outcomes. This research aim to investigate the current management problems within an organization and analyzing its business operations and further, this research will provide recommendations that will help the organization recover from its management issues. The research examines Boeing management difficulties following the 737 MAX crashes and assess their influence on the company's reputation, operations, and financial health. Expected outcomes, including identifications of key factors that contributed to the 737 MAX events and their consequences. The outcomes will also provide recommendations for strategic changes of safety policies, transparency and operation management, and provide insight into competitive tactic for regaining market leadership and boosting Boeing position against competitors like Airbus. Next part of presentation will be led by Vikram Vipul Dhirubhai. Thanks. Thank you, Gurdip. So now I'm talking about context. So, so we start off Boeing is one of the biggest aerospace organizations in the world which has faced some of the several challenges in recent years. These challenges have made a serious impact on the loss of its stable operations, reputation, and financial health. All the aspects of the company like commercial aviation, space, and defense were heavily affected. Two major crashes of the 737 MAX 
happened in 2018 and 19, which heavily impacted the organization. These crashes were Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. Moving to next slide, the major reason for the crash of the 737 MAX was the MCAS, who was also known for the regulatory oversight and safety practices of Boeing on a daily basis. Later on, it was found that the regulatory practices were not done properly by the MCAS, which led to the cash crash and resulted in a huge setback to the company. Moreover, the supply chain was disrupted all over due to the COVID-19 and the crash happened around that time. Therefore, the company had to face more financial losses. Another slide is we have some type of data to provide this uh, this slides to moving on the we have considered this research was based on secondary sources and therefore the data were collected online secondary online resources like articles newspapers websites and different online materials were used to collect data for this research the data about the financial loss of the company was collected from Statistica. The company had to suffer some of the disasters of the decade through the crashes of both the flights of 737-MAX. A BBC article has given a proper understanding of the damage these two crashes have caused to human society on the other side. The history of the company with the reasons for these crashes was known from an article in the Economic Times. Then after utilizing secondary data with continuation has been advantageous as it has facilitated the collection of numerous data points from various sources. Academic journals and studies offered insight into the distinct influence the incident had on consumers and the brand's image, while industry and news-based pieces assisted in gathering information relating to the occurrence. Now moving to the data like major sources and information gained about the case. The management of the company decided to change the CEO of the company after two huge setbacks the major reason for the crashes of the company was that the organization prioritized profit over safety and hence the pilots were unaware of the MCAS which was newly introduced. And following the severe losses in two consecutive years, the data from Connor Flight 610 lacked awareness regarding the newly integrated automated control features within the craft and had no control of the plane due to the automated function and automated flight control system resulted in the crash. So here I'll wrap it up my conversation and I'm going to hand over to my another group member which is Gurtej Singh. Uh, thanks Bipal. Uh, now my name is Gurtej Singh. Uh, now I'm going to giving my part in this presentation. Uh, which is continuation of contact and uh, data analysis. Uh, based on FAA decision, company was not allowed to continue with the 737 MAX for its flying process after the crashes happened and it remained for two years. Uh, this led to a huge financial loss. Boeing lost $355 million due to declining revenue in the first quarter. Uh, which is another indication of the company's dilemma as it comes under closer scrutiny. And the next slide is Airbus had a bigger number of gross orders and deliveries as compared to Boeing in 2023. The rivals of Boeing dominated the market after the decline of the company. And they had major uh, contracts and offers from different uh, defense sectors. Both of their performances uh, majorly differed from one another with Airbus having uh, 2319 units and 735 units and Boeing having only 1456 units gross 
orders and 528 units deliveries in 2023. Uh, the next slide is, uh, there was a huge number of losses of human life uh, due to the crash of the 737 MAX of Boeing. The two separate flights of the 737 MAX line air flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines flight 302 caused all the onboard people as 189 and uh, 157 people were killed respectively. And these strategies highlighted serious safety concerns with the 737 MAX leading uh, to its global grounding and extensive investigations into Boeing's safety practices and regularity oversight. Uh, the next slide, uh, due to the killing of 346 people, uh, the Boeing company had to face a strong financial loss. Moreover, the families of the killed ones had a terrible demand from the company as they asked for a uh, $24.8 billion compensation from the uh, authority of Boeing. Mm -hmm. uh, furthermore, the organization uh, was forced to pay a fine of $243.6 million. Additionally, the global grounding of the 737 MAX led to production halts, cancellation of orders, and extensive costs mm -hmm. for regularity, uh, compliance, and safety improvements. And these financial burdens, coupled with uh, lawsuits and uh, reputational damage, severely impacted Boeing's earnings and market value, uh, highlighting the profound uh, economic consequences of the accident. Uh, in next slide, and the company had some serious conditions after it crashed two times into. Uh, consecutive years in 2018 and 2019, uh, as all the aviation departments in the world ordered the company not to fly the 737 MAX jets, uh, which were initially built to compete with the A320neo Airbus. And this grounding disrupted airlines' uh, uh, orations led to financial losses for Boeing and prompted uh, extensive investigations into the aircraft's safety features and irregularity uh, approval processes, uh, significantly transitioning Boeing's uh, reputation. Uh, now the rest part of the presentation will be continued by our next group member, Mininder Singh. Thank you. Thanks, Gurkej. My name is Mininder Singh. Now I'm ongoing with my further slide that is about contributing factors to the crash. The pilots of both flights, uh, 302 and 610, were unable to control the speed of their flights as the speed of the flights were automatically increased due to the inappropriate use of MCAS and pilots were unable to control the speed, which was called system and lack of training. Thus, both the cases of 737 mass had some core similarities. Moving to the next slide, due to the incident, the company had to pay, the company had to pay a huge sum of money in terms of recovering the 737 max, as this was understood that company had kept some of the information about the 737 MAX untold to the Aviation Authority, which led to the two consecutive plane accidents. The company paid uh, $200 million fine while the former CEO of the company gave a fine of $1 million. The company started with some extraordinary visions in the initial year of the invention of 737 MAX and it continued till the year of 2018. The company generated the highest revenue, 10.460 million US dollars in 2018. Since then, there has been only a decline in the company. In 2020, the company experienced its lowest decline as it lost 11.941 million US dollars. 
Thus, the company faced a terrible financial crisis since 2019, the year of its first crash uh, of the 737 MAX. Moving to the next slide, qualitative analysis provide deep insights in, into complex issue by exploring underlying reasons, motivations, and perspectives. It help uncover pattern, themes, and meaning, leading to comprehensive understanding of phenomena. This approach is valuable for generating hypotheses, understanding context, and informing decision-making with rich and detailed data. Uh, moving to the next slide, that is about them uh, thematic analysis have acted as an excellent tool because it systematically analyzed and reported pattern within qualitative data. It provides flexibility to help to develop deeply in the, into the data meaning. This method was particularly useful for uncovering insights and understanding complex phenomena making it deal for exploring as there were a number of issue for Boeing like plane, crashes, transparency, speed, control, and more. The authority of the company need to make some of significant changes in order to address the issue in the operation. The company should emphasize the safety of passengers over the speed of flight. There should be always in depth inspection before flight leaves the airport holding transparent communication with the concerned authority of aviation industry now moving to the my final slide of presentation that is about data analysis which is in form of thematic table here we can collab the data in different five ways that is fatality of boeing crashes financial strain brought by the accident operation conflict it's uh, contributing factions to the cr crash. Uh, now I am uh, welcoming my next colleague to continue the further slide of our presentation, Mr. Kushal Kumar. Hi, thanks, Maninder. My name is Kushal Kumar. While we are moving to the, our final end, to the recommendations and conclusion, I'll, I'll want to show a brief overview which we have discussed till now. Until now, we have discussed about the profile of the company like Boeing Aerospace has a vast history and a vast background, which is very recognized. But after 2018, when he was on the peak's uh, profit, he faced uh, two crashes consecutively in two years, like 29 and uh, 2029 and 2020. So these crashes has made a loss of a uh, lot of loss to the company and a lot of recognition in their image. So these are the conclusions which we have moved in our next slides. So I'm going to move to my final stage, which is like approach taken to analyze the data and conclusion drawn with the, the research by my team. This In this conclusion, we have studied employed the con qualitative research approach and collected secondary sources from articles and online reports. Each of the material was analyzed utilizing a qualitative analytic framework known as theme analysis through which themes were established. Boeing 737 MAX disasters were caused by the safety oversights, failing and poor pilot training. This resulted in significant financial losses reputational harm and operational interruptions. There is a requirement for straight safety measures and clear communications. In next slide, I'm going to discuss about the conclusion and recommendations. So the great invention of Boeing, the 737 MAX turned out to be a biggest unfortunate for the company as well the, the on board passengers on the two flights were killed. The company had to suffer a significant loss from a financial aspect, the company saw its competitor gain more revenue. However, the major reason of these crashes were the, that the pilots lack training, were unable to control the newly automatic system and the speeds of the flights. So this concludes that the pilots was untrained 
and they due to their untra untraining, 346 peoples have lost their lives. Moving to next slide. Conclusions and recommendation continuation. So this company needs to make right some basic things like operations, management, and the supply chain. The company should make its leader accountable for the kind of losses so that transparency and integrity are generated in the operations. The authority of the company needs to advance its manufacturing technology, focusing on sustainability processing. There should be a strong partnership with suppliers so that company is able to source quality raw materials at an affordable price to compete with its rivals. Next slide, please. Research implications, key point and outlook. In this slide, we will discuss about what data implications have impacted key points and recovery outlooks. The data suggests that the crash had a major financial and operational impact on Boeing including revenue loss, reputation harm, and safety concerns. It further impacted the brand relevance in the market and also impacted its reputation. The key points reflected on the study underlined Boeing's the problem in recovering confidence, enhancing safety, and the stabilizing in finances. The analysis discovered that while the organization is still struggling to recover, it is possible to do via improved safety measures, strategic management, and recovering consumer confidence. In next slides, we will discuss about the references from which we have co collected all the data. For the references, we have taken the help of Google scholars and some online study material. These are the some recommendations and conclusion from our side. And we have tried our best to conclude all the things and the, some major recommendations which Boeing must need like rigorous in, in inspection should be implemented in flights before they start flying. Next one is this, there should be a transparent communication with the regulatory bodies of the aviation industry. So we have tried to conclude and recommend some, uh, some suggestions for this company so that they will recover their uh, image in and in the in aviation industry thank you for listening us stop thank you